Hey guys, Tired Bobby T here, and welcome to the beginning of the Atlanta Adventures. It's kind of nice to do this. It's been a really good long time since I've done a proper travel vlog. This should be a lot of fun. There's so many awesome things that I'm going to get to do with my amazing aunt and uncle. I'm really just ready for this trip to get started. It's gonna absolutely be a blast. So I'm a little bit tired for a reason. My clothes decided it would be a good idea to not be available uh, last night. So we had to have a couple hours of washing them before I could wear any. So I got in bed a little bit late last night, but I guess I'll just have to sleep in the car. Anyway, it's a long trip, so let's go ahead and get started going to Atlanta. Okay guys, we are at the top of what is now the Sundial, and look at this amazing view of Atlanta, downtown and midtown. I don't know if you can tell, Stone Mountain over there, the Georgia Tech football stadium is down there, a lot of cars down there, and there we're staying, so home for four days. It's Olympic Park down there. Atlanta Ferris Wheel, Georgia Aquarium, right there. <laughs> World's largest and likely terrifying airport down there, ATL. Today we are at Six Flags Over Georgia.
probably can't see me, but we just got the last ride of the night, and it was awesome. Definitely a great way to cap out our visit to Six Flags. The next day was the first of two days we spent touring downtown Atlanta on foot. The first thing we saw was the Marriott Marquis, which is a famous hotel designed by John Portman. The architecture in this place was really cool, and it was definitely worth a look. In addition, we went to the CNN Broadcasting Center, which was a lot of fun. We took a behind-the-scenes tour where we were not allowed to film, but the stuff we did was super awesome, accompanied by a really energetic tour guide. Overall, I would definitely recommend taking a look if you happen to be in Atlanta. Right next to the CNN Center was the Olympic Park, home to the famous Fountain of Rings. While I did not have my bathing suit this day, we were able to watch a pretty unique show. On our last full day in Atlanta, we spent most of our time at the very crowded Georgia Aquarium. While it was quite noisy, we still managed to enjoy the aquarium and all it had to offer. One tip if you plan on going here during a trip to the city is to tour as much of the aquarium as you can while shows are taking place. There will be much less people to alter your progress while trying to go through the aquarium. Overall, this place was a lot of fun as there were many animals to see. break from the aquarium to go eat some lunch and we decided we would stop by the Mercedes-Benz Stadium which is if you don't know I'm sure you do the home of the Atlanta Falcons and also the um, Atlanta United Major League Soccer team and this is the famous Falcon in front. Uh, we didn't get to go inside the actual stadium where you would sit but we did go inside the shop and you can kind of see into it a little bit. It's a cool design, and um, yeah, of course, hosted the Super Bowl earlier this year. The next day, in the morning before we left Atlanta, I got up relatively early to film a morning time lapse of the city from the top floor of a hotel slash apartment complex we were staying at. It was definitely worth losing a little sleep over. Good morning, guys, from our last day in Atlanta. Got my GoPro time lapse down there, and it's a beautiful morning. The sun is uh, reflecting off what they call the pencil building. So it kind of looks like a pencil up there. Got the 18 feet building, Mercedes Benz Dome right there, center, right down there, and um, got the Marriott Marquis over there. We visited that, and the sundial. We've also visited that. And there's a lot of cool things in the city. It's pretty, it's a nice morning. The sun is already quite a ways off, I think, over there. Yeah, it's right there. But um, anyway, I made it out of bed somehow this morning and we're enjoying the view now.